time. If not, I really enjoyed you because this isn't exactly movie talk. This is about the Miko, Tommy Tellerico. This is one of the most epic parts of the documentary uh, because it's talking about Tommy Tellerico in his MTV Cribs episode. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll this stick is around. Li- this is I mean, hilarious. is it going to be like 20 minutes or is it, or is it just a... It's like uh, 10 this part. Yeah, I'll I'll watch it. Okay. So now the brakes have come off and this video is spiraling out of my control. I've lost all hope of figuring out what Tommy is doing or why. (laughs) Doing the early research before this all happened, it got kind of nostalgic going back and re-watching ancient episodes of Electric Playground and reviews on the run and watching Tommy do his wacky boobery and (laughs) yell at Victor when he says normal things. You have to watch this whole thing. I was trying to remember if I ever found Tommy funny or if I was always... I, I thought Tommy was funny. I've still somewhat of a fan of him in a really weird way now, though. Thing at him, you know? <laughs> you know what I got to say to you? I don't care what you think. Even doing that <laughs> level of research, I fell back into an ancient drama I saw unfold as a kid and completely forgot about. Tommy's awful opinions used to be a running joke on forums discussing his show's reviews. People would bring up he gave Smash Brothers Melee, one of the most beloved games in human history, a 2.5 out of 10. It was a huge what? running joke. I learned yes. about this because I was a pretty big Mega64 fan as a teenager, Why and he shot some videos at his review? house and even did an episode of their podcast. Podcast there. I remember watching this on my iPod Nano on the bus. Now we're in another strange room. This was shot just as Smash Brothers Brawl had come out, and the gang made fun of his old review as well. Smash Brothers is now released. That's right. Uh, Tom, uh, Tommy, uh, I don't know who off. these guys are. Mega sixty four. That's, I, I, I that's, heard a, that's, a, that's an old old yeah, sure. record saying. Yeah favorite game series of all time <laughs> there's this awful rumor on the internet right. as, as there always is mm-hmm. that i gave smash brothers like a 2.5 or something oh. and so the reality is, is that we we never actually reviewed smash brothers ever on oh. g4 oh. so people on the internet who say that i gave smash brothers a low score yeah like bite, bite him Tommy is pointing to the giant model dinosaur he has in his garden. Anyway, it's clear this he, room- he was I was on a sh- live stream with him where he was in front of that dinosaur. <laughs> we were in- you, know, awesome. you know you know he showed well, that, right? Well, oh, did he? Oh, yeah. That's sad. Well, there this is this 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 is 2 hours of epicness. This is I don't know how Tommy I'm joking, I don't know how anything's going. I was hoping Hold Brian on. was going to stay for this part, but rumor really gets to him. In an IGN thread about his Mario Galaxy review, this comes up and Tommy T shows up to defend himself because he googles his name and has nothing better to do. He claims it's not true but refuses to say what the real score was because he thinks it's fun watching people spout nonsense. So Tommy never gave Melee a 2.5, that's just a rumor, leave him alone. Here's Tommy's review of Smash Brothers Melee. What do you think about Super Smash Brothers Melee for the Nintendo GameCube? Well, you know, I gotta tell you, it's another GameCube letdown. Another GameCube disappointment in my book. Three out of ten. I give it a two and a half. Oh! Oh, (laughs) no! So why does he go... Why does he go... He consistently tries to debunk people, and he did it! I'm like, what? No, Tommy. Yeah, but it keeps no. it keeps the thing alive. It keeps the in the in the lexicon of maybe know. he's maybe he's but playing 4D chess. Maybe he, did he like legit forget that he gave it a bad review? I like... don't know. I was thinking he was trying to do some type of thing because this is a classic review because not every episode aired on G4. So I think he was playing I on G four. Again, I didn't this, review is where it. Get, this is where he but, gets into trouble because he yes. gets caught in these lies. But he actually did review it, give it a two point five. But maybe this episode didn't air on G four. Maybe it only aired on the Canadian because reviews from the run is a Canadian show with Victor Lucas. Maybe it didn't air on G four. So I can't like, even imagine. Like Melee is one of the greatest games ever made. I can't even imagine if we get a bad review. That just blows my mind. TV. People saw him. The footage exists. This isn't speculation. When Tommy does something people criticize him for, even something dumb that doesn't need defending like a video game opinion, he just lies and says he never did it. Like, why would you lie about something so stupid and easy to check? I'm reaching the point where if Tommy says something, it's easier to assume he made it up. His website used to have a page of famous people seen wearing Tellerico Studios t-shirts, which is a weird thing to document in the first place. But the thing is though, every single picture on it is photoshopped. Like what was <laughs> oh his- Oh my <laughs> god. Wow. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> it gets worse. This gets worse. I'm telling Tell you. Tell me wait why. Till you, I think this is the part where... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is the part. You wait till you see. Goal here. What is he even trying to do? Tommy's stratospheric levels of clout chasing have hit a point where I literally can't tell if he's joking. He has a gallery page with pictures of him performing and in magazines and so on. And there's a celebrities section showing off all the cool people he's stood next to. Wow. He's really proud of some of them That's because he keeps shot. reposting them. This Jamie Lee Curtis picture pops I've up on his it. Twitter when yes. she's in the news or it's her birthday. Yes. She's a wonderful, I kind and talented that. human being and a fan that. of my video games live show. But one Please of the pictures on here is fake. really strange. This one is of the Dalai Lama, apparently. Wait, 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 during the conversation about Karma, someone referenced the Dalai Lama, so of course, he reposted that picture and said he met him in London and he liked his music. The issue here is this later turned out to be a wax statue of the Dalai Lama. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> but he did meet the Dalai, he just met the wax version, but the- That's not part, the same thing! It's, it's not necessarily a lie except liking the music. You know, I I I knew a guy that would Photoshop Paris Hilton next to him, and and he he swore up and down that he knew her, and he was and and you're like, dude, this is so like this you fake this. Yes. There are people out there no, that do this. No, this whole two hours is like a rabbit hole. Of Max, time. this was your hero. I know, I know. Is this this really broke me? Like, I don't think I could say that. With a straight mask anymore. Keep playing it. Keep playing and it. He is my hero. Wait, I, have I, still like I have a question. I have a question. Has Saggy seen this documentary? Yeah, I think she has. Oh, I'm not. Man. Listen, I would still oh hang out with God. him. But he's like, you know, the person, your friend that says the big fish story. He's he, he's, the, he's the boy who cried wolf. But yes. has, but dude, have you 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 got to call him out on that if you ever get in, in oh, space again? I I honestly, Sean, this is tiger king levels of craziness it is this is like a documentary it actually sean get some people together start working on this you will you will blow up yes and get a group Obviously, together like, you know people look tell into some, this yeah tell some look, watch this whole thing like story watch this whole me. thing and then here's the title tommy tallarico wouldn't that be something i'm telling you this I'm is write, gonna i'm gonna write it down i'm telling you Talk to some I know, I know, friends. I know everyone involved too. I could get you interviews. Uh, oh my goodness! This it's would a, be like a great Netflix or like Peacock or whatever. HBO I know, I know, HBO I know, I know someone that invested ten thousand in it and is a YouTuber. You uh, know, you know who would probably uh, sell the rights to get it done to like Netflix? He would do it himself. Yeah. Well, it would be it would be better to get not him involved. I mean, you could still do it without him involved. It would be a better production. Because no, but what I'm saying is he yeah. couldn't resist the temptation to be in front no, of the camera and such defend an himself. E no, he is such an egomaniac that he won't admit that he failed to do that. I I would I once Jeez. thought I once thought that he might you know this is the way to save your console, make a reality series. But I think he would have to admit that he made some errors and he won't do that mm -hmm. dude a wax a, statue from like the yeah and like what like why it's, 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 it's funny did uh, he not did he really think that no one was gonna find out like no no yeah, there no. no you don't you, so you watch this whole thing it is so keep playing he's this like part. a I pathological see what liar he's a pathological liar i want to hear what the what the narrator says right after this Lama from the Madame Two Swords in London. It's this is Madame an example Tussauds. of what I've decided to call the Talarico event horizon. Tommy has lied so much about so many things, I can't even tell if this is meant to be a joke. Is he doing a bit? Is Tommy Talarico a CIA experiment to see how far you can get in the liberal games industry by just making shit up? Is Tommy Talarico just a shadow on the wall of a cave? I. I started making this video because I thought a sound effect was funny! I can't tell if he's joking, or if he genuinely wants to convince people he met the Dalai Lama. Like I said, this was in a conversation about an Amico feature, it turned out he made up! We have something that's called a Karma Gaming Engine. And what that means is that everybody, no matter what your skill level, 
can feel like you have a chance and that you're in the game. I'm interested what? in the fact that you're using the Karma Gaming Engine. Uh, where where did that come from? Okay, so the Karma Gaming Engine is just some shit we made up. <laughs> 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 At least he's honest there. At least he's honest there. Yeah, he's like, yeah. is he just trolling a lot? With like, I I think the Dalai Lama thing was a troll because I've seen him post that before. He just laughs at people. Yeah, I met the Dalai Lama. <laughs> like he literally made it up to get people to invest and admitted it later. Everywhere you look, Tommy is trying to build more prestige in ways that make no sense. Once Tommy had fled the Atari Age forums after calling everyone a gaming racist and stepping down, people started <laughs> posting about how weird he was being, and a guy told a story there about how he ran a display at the Houston Arcade Expo in 2018 showing off old Intellivision stuff right when the Amico had just been announced. So he asked Tommy if he wanted him to put out some business cards advertising the Amico which he did. His display won an award at the show, and when he mentioned this to Tommy, he allegedly asked him to mail him the award. <laughs> if this story is true, Tommy just assumed that this award belonged to him. This is just an allegation. Normally I wouldn't bother putting this in the video, but the problem is it tracks so well with a lifetime of taking credit for things he didn't do and making up awards. I find yes. this story too believable not the to- The Amico got an award, RJ, and it's a console that's not ever come up. He, wow. he does- <laughs> yeah, Spiracle Man, we already, we already watched that part at the beginning of the stream, FYI, yeah. with Max. This doesn't mean Tommy hasn't done good work in the industry or had any legitimate achievements. To properly recognize the good work he's done, we ought to talk about Gang. The Game Audio Network Guild is a group of industry professionals this is dedicated this to is improving the craft, helping people network, and recognizing people's achievements with awards. Tommy has won a lot of awards <laughs> from the guild over the years, at least 16 by my count, and he's clearly very proud of them because he puts them all up next to his Guinness World Records. Tommy Tallarico is also the founder of Gang. Recently, uh, I founded a nonprofit organization called the Game Audio oh. Network Guild, or Gang. It's really Are funny seeing Tommy give profit? tours of his house in his gang t-shirt and of his office with his gang desktop Wait, background and then going so to his good. website this and seeing 16 better. awards from the group he founded and was on the board of directors of at the time. Tommy Tellerico, composer. Oh wait, this is it, this is it, MTV well, hold on, real quick, real quick, before we get to this part. Yes. So he founded a non-profit meant yes. to give awards and recognize talented yes. people who work in the industry. And in this and video- he won but, most of the awards. And in this video, his Guinness oh. World for World Records. He contacted Guinness and told them, and they never verified. It's the part of Guinness where you could contact them. and So they never like, verified the... They never ver verified his claims. <laughs> you know, th this nonprofit's probably just a tax shelter if yeah. he's given himself the awards. You know? but, but, but here's the, Tommy's MTV Cribs video. That's what it's titled. So was he on MTV Cribs? Well, you're going to wait because okay. I thought he was because I watched a lot of YouTube. I watched a lot of retro... Eve, but I don't ever remember watching it on MTV itself. Well, let's see, let's see. And sound designer for video games, also the president of the Game Audio Network Guild, also known as Gang. Gang even gave an award for best sound library to that sound pack he made, with Joey's help. They've only given out that award four times in their 20 year existence, by the way. And again, these are award-winning sound effects. <laughs> at least we know the sounds in the Roblox kit really are award-winning. Like, at this point, research for a video that was supposed to be about the Roblox oof <laughs> has gone so far off course that I needed, like, something that was baseline obviously true to hang on to so I could return to sanity. So I asked myself what I thought would be the most obvious question. Was Tommy even on Cribs? <laughs> And of course, YouTube, he like admits, said, doesn't he? I was never really I, on it. I, I, no, no, he doesn't admit that. No, it, it, I, I, oh, you're being sarcastic here. But there's also a clip of me here, too, asking the same thing. Oh, there's a clip of me here talking about his MTV Cribs because I thought it, too, because I looked on his YouTube channel. How oh, see, MTV so Cribs I was it, it, on. It, it, it's, it's awesome, right? You did an MTV <laughs> Cribs? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, they were my house. Didn't you have an episode of MTV <laughs> Cribs back in the day? Oh, there's yeah. Ryan! Ryan's in the video! <laughs> oh, there there was there was uh 
There, there was a sci-fi yeah, dragon. Dude. Roblox Go oof back. has gone so far sorry, off sorry, course sorry. that I needed like something that we was baseline that. obviously on. true to hang on to, so I could return to sanity. Hold on, I gotta make this so big screen. I asked myself what I thought would be the most obvious question: Was Tommy even on cribs on YouTube? Like I said, there's a lot. There's videos of your of your house and your MTV stuff. cribs. Oh, God, God, it's, 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 it's awesome, right? You did it, MTV just... cribs. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, they tour my house. Didn't you have an episode of MTV Cribs back in the? A... <laughs> oh Steve Ryan God. and Sci-Fi Dragon. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow, like he tells cool. people it was Cribs. He uploaded a video to his YouTube channel saying it was Cribs. So was it? <laughs> no. <laughs> cribs is, you know, a TV show. It has wow. lists of episodes. You can just. <laughs> Max, why didn't you ever look it up to see? I didn't. What I didn't assume. No, maybe. He, <laughs> why would you not look up and make sure? I that? didn't think this was possible that someone would do all this stuff. Wow! I'm telling this you, Sean. Context of people. This is a gold mine. Whoever, a whoever, or a whoever produces it. This guy that on YouTube with a million subs, this video is already one of his most viewed videos because it's like such a crazy story. It's it's is bigger than the Tiger King. I'm telling you, everyone that's covered this has admitted this. It's bigger than the Tiger King. Whoever does wow. this produces this documentary. You know, it's it's one thing to fake it till you make it, but he made it and then he kept faking it yeah. throughout his whole. That's weird. <laughs> Narcissistic, crazy. Jesus. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Check. It was obviously a lie the entire time. I don't know how no one called him on it. Do gamers just not know what Cribs is? Cribs. Yes. All right, guy. You know, I didn't remember the icons. It was a while since I watched MTV, so yeah, I didn't remember. I didn't... Sorry, Max. Yeah, you don't know what Cribs is. Now the production value is a little bit higher on MTV Cribs than uh, yeah. yeah than what he was doing. You know. Yeah. With our Went to the home of massively successful musicians like Snoop Dogg and Maroon 5, or other really yeah. big celebrities like Tony fucking Hawk. They did not go to the home of the guy who might have made some of the skateboard sounds for his game. Absolutely no normal person watching MTV in the mid-2000s is going to know who Thomas the Tallarico Engine even is. He did the soundtrack to Earthworm Jim. He's not a celebrity. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit about his fucking fountain. A waterfall here. Here. No, you actually want to show that, right? At night. Oddly enough, my mother's very proud. Cribs had very specific motion graphics, and they always showed the same yep. factoids at the beginning every time, using the same realize. visual. This video much. just has a wall of text. MTV oh. had a very specific vibe with its backing tracks. This thing uses easily identifiable stock music. So identifiable, YouTube flagged it. But if it wasn't Cribs, then what was it? Someone in the comments says they saw this on a disc that came with a gaming magazine back in the day, but I think they're thinking of the other times he did that. Because Tommy's a massive narcissist, his website. Wait, who popped in here? Sen hey, senior nerd. I oh, I, I'm in time. I'm in time. I gotta see this too. Okay. As a video section with a meticulous collection of his appearances and links to them on YouTube, some of which he uploaded himself. He links this one and calls it MTV Cribs here too, along with two of his PlayStation Magazine appearances. But here's the thing: Tommy's website is ancient and has several much older versions preserved on the Internet Archive. On the version from 2004, before YouTube was a thing, he would just put the videos on his own site. Many of the videos on the old site ended up as links to YouTube videos on the new one. The PlayStation Magazine house tour and interviews are here, along with this around the world in 80 games thing. There doesn't seem to be a Cribs video on the old version of the site, which is a bit of a red flag. <laughs> Additionally, there's one wow. house tour that didn't seem to make it to the new one, done by Gamer TV. The video itself on Tommy's site wasn't archived, but Gamer.TV was a show from the UK about gaming hosted by Sam Delaney. One episode had a feature on ways to make money in the game industry. Professional gamers, voice actors, and of course, a certain composer. Hey! I'm Tommy Tellerico. Oh my and sound God. designer for video <laughs> games. Hey, wait a second. Hey, I'm Tommy Tellerico, <laughs> composer and sound designer. Oh no. No. Oh, that no. is amazing. <laughs> yes. Do you think he thought people wouldn't see it because it was in the uh, UK well, as and a that YouTuber, he thought he could I knew I know it was bullshit. 
I know clickbait's a thing. Maybe he just wanted views on that video. I don't know. But then he, I, but then he doubled down on the lie. Like he's like, yeah, uh huh. Okay, yeah. so I saw, so, so I saw this on uh, uh, Richard's, uh, you know, uh, Review USA. We did a live stream, and I was like, was Tommy Tarico on MTV Cribs? Because I see every episode of Cribs back in the day. And I never remember him. I'm gonna know. I'm gonna make a Cribs episode and I'm gonna do MTV Cribs dedicated to Tommy Tell Rico for oh myself. My uh, I, was, I was thinking like maybe it was a Mandela effect because I, I remember that I remember the episode with the Osborns. I remember the, but, the but this, that's one thing to get like it's just like ah, I did it for views on YouTube. No, he's like yeah, I, I, I was like, uh, that was <laughs> What do you think of that, Sean? Dude, it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, look, I'm, I'm, uh, the Dalai Lama <laughs> thing with the wax doll is just um, like, are you kidding me? Like, I lo- I was watching this at work. I couldn't even handle the customer. I was like, what? <laughs> I'm like, the you- MTV- I was like, the MTV Cribs was not real. I'm like, dude, yeah. dude, but- I want to see Pat the NES Punk and Ian's reaction to this documentary on their podcast. It's going to be know. amazing. This is such vindication for them, too. Yeah, I would have met. I would have met Pat and Ian. By the way, how you can this guy for video you, uh, games. Uh, So this episode is using a cut down version of the footage we saw in Tommy's video. So now we know who really shot this footage. Gamer.tv used to have a website. Gamer.tv. Oh, that's clever. It's down now, but in archives, it's clear the site used to have a video section with extra stuff. One of the extra videos appears to be about a gamer with a Ferrari and a luxury home. I think Gamer.tv met Tommy and toured his house, used clips from this in their show, and uploaded the entire house tour as a bonus feature to their website. The video linked here is sadly not archived either. At least, not directly. It was preserved if, say, Tommy downloaded it and put it on his own website, and then later moved his video archive to YouTube. This is a kind of cool act of video preservation, except for the part where it somehow ended up being called MTV MTV Crib. How did that happen? I mean, the file on his website was named correctly. This would be a difficult thing to get wrong unless he did it on purpose. MTV so Cribs, I was it, it, on. It, it, it's, it's awesome, right? Is Tommy just, like, a pathological liar? Does he have yes. to lie to sound more interesting yes. no matter what? Like how he went... <laughs> oh. Wow. And from I'm saying he did some sounds for Prime to, to saying he worked thing. on it with Miyamoto for five years, or how he went from being one of the voices in Pro Skater to the audio director, or how he went from doing three songs for Sonic and the Black Knight in 2009 to being the first American to ever get to kiss Sonic on his little mouth? Every time something comes what? up again, the lie has to get bigger. To in that newer thing. house tour I showed, the guy asks Tommy about if it was featured on Cribs, and he says it was on there more than once. Tommy Tallarica has invited me to his MTV crib. This hasn't <laughs> been on the MTV crib, right? Uh, a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why is he like this? <laughs> Why are you like this? I know you're still watching, Tommy. Explain watching, yourself. What are you doing? What are you fucking doing? <laughs> Uh-oh, wow. crime time. Now that he actually gets to the... Okay, that's where we're cutting it off. No, let's watch it. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. We're going to end, it three, uh, we're gonna end it three hours. What did you think of that? Are you are are you drawn to this, Sean? Do you think you're going to check this out? There, Yes, because there are people who, once they start a lie, they have to keep... To keep the lie going. Yeah. We'll the lie going, going yeah. and... Like and certain, and then what like happens certain. is they believe it. It becomes okay. real to them. Well, you know, yeah, that's pretty much been happening since 2020, you know? <sighs> Fake it till you make it, and he just never stopped. Sean, I'm going to send it to your Twitter. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> yes, uh, it is an amazing two-hour watch. I have I haven't laughed. Thank you, Zeno. Uh, I haven't wa- laughed that hard. Because I, I kind of know him. Do you him. feel Not, embarrassed? I met him in person, Sean. I met him in person. Do you feel I'm, am I embarrassed? No, I'm not embarrassed at all. It's a, it, it, You know, Did life's you too him? short. Life's too short. It's This makes it... And this actually makes me kind of more of a fan of him in a weird way. I'm like, what? what the, because I'm like, what the hell, Tommy? I don't hate him. But oh he is God. a liar. You're delusional. You're no, delusional. he is a liar. The so idea he, lie, he lies I, straight to your face. I but I do the hero's a liar. Like, 
It's like it's a weird he thing. Stole $300 man. From it's a you. weird thing. Yeah, he stole money from a lot of people. He lied to get investors. And I just like it sounds very you familiar. Be, you can be a fan of something and not I don't respect what he did, but I'm like <laughs> I'm like I, I'm drawn to his story. Like he is <laughs> Well, and in the same like a in, of in, shit. No, in the same instance now like that you've watching this that people watch the tiger king is because it's a train wreck yes. and they can't yeah. tear and then away they start like they start to like the tiger king. tiger king's not a good person either no <laughs> he's not do you really uh, do also you're... you know they've also seen uh max on camera be called a serial killer wearing a mask yeah, yeah. <laughs> over uh, it's gonna be close to a million people in the next day or so oh i'm putting that in my intro i gotta work on my intro uh, dude you gotta clip that out you've yeah. got to clip that out it's so oh. killer and then, all, and then also yeah. revert from the view tech usa should have listened to your wife <laughs> wow <laughs> milk the free I, press i would keep going on that that uh, no i didn't say i like him more i said i'm like almost you could be a fan of something Listen, you could be a fanatic about something and not even respect what's going. Like, I if something comes up about Tommy, I'm probably going to watch it. Do you want me to be honest? I'm it's being a train honest. Wreck. Yes. Why not? That doesn't mean I respect what he did. That you doesn't mean he has no did. value whatsoever. He did did do some things in the industry. He's still a great composer, but he takes credit for everything. <laughs> and he yeah. made some. He lies a lot, and I. <laughs> And I'm you know, there's a honest. lot of people. There's there's like 74 million people that follow someone that does the same shit. Oh, really? Who are you talking about? Oh no, I, I don't. I, know. I, I know. <laughs> we know. We know. Make yeah. shit up, and people. Oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah. I'm just kidding. No, he didn't kill anyone. No, I would not be a fan of a serial killer. No, no. Lying is not killing someone. It's not. It's killing their, like my picture. It's killing unless, their funds. Unless, unless your lie causes people to believe something that they kill for. Yeah. yeah. True, true. Yeah. Okay. All Just right. Saying. That crime I, time. I, this also gets really good. And he mentions me quite a few times in this video. Well, I definitely, I definitely want to finish this because I want to see what the crime. You know, is. I'm, I'm going to check it out. I will. It's I'll, a real. It's really well done. And I might even, you know. You know, do a reaction video to some of it. We'll see what Oh, happens. yeah. If you do, it's going to get good views. The people interested in this story are fans, too. Even though they, they they don't like Tommy, they will they you will get good engagement. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. Uh, thanks for sending it to me. I yeah. promise I'll do it. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see. All right. So go, uh, Sean, if you want to put your channel in the chat, just in case. Oh. Uh, RJ, remember to pimp your channel. Anthony, senior nerd. We're at the three oh, hours oh. now. Uh, yeah, I have a channel. Thank you, you. You. Is that really it, RJ? You're not even going to post your link? I'm going to in a second. Hold on, I have to switch. Just put in the private chat, Sean, and then I'll. And, uh, oh, I got. I, I put it in there. Oh, but make sure, like everyone, you know, smash that thumbs up button too. You know. Yes, do that. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a low and order. It's gonna be that epic, Sean. When I said you have to, when I said you have to watch that, did you think it was gonna be that epic? It isn't on the TV cribs. Well, I mean, again, you had me at the the wax statue, like that. (laughs) The wax (laughs) statue got me. That one too. That that got me. Had me right there, and then I'm like, okay, now that this guy swindled money out of people, I want to know who the suckers were. That seventeen million dollars. Oh, I'm in the wrong business. Yes, oh. Spider-Man room. <laughs> yes, Spider-Man room with all the Spider-Man comics. That's a wow. Uh, you know he's selling. That. You know he's selling off everything at his house, even the Ferrari too. So. Oh, the Egyptian room. That's my favorite part. He had Why does he room. still even have that Ferrari's from the nineties? Why would he even have? Oh, it? He, has, he says he, he told me he never has gotten rid of a Ferrari. He has them all. That's point. a lie. He, he's That's probably a lie. Of it. That's he's probably a lie too. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is about Ferrari is like um, it's really hard to become uh, to get a Ferrari. And once you have yes, one, you're yeah. considered part of the Ferrari family. So you can actually um, get another one before somebody else because they're all hand built. Um, so like someone off the street can buy a Ferrari, but more but they're more inclined to sell it to someone who's already purchased one. 
Here's uh, Sean's channel. Go check him out. That's Look a true. Out for that's the a, reaction, reaction video. That's a true thing. Yeah. So. All right. I think that's all the steam I have for tonight. Thank you, Sean. We need to we need to interact more. We got to work on some plans. We'll, we'll figure something out. I yeah, know you're busy. Cause... I know you're busy though. No, I'm I'm in between shows. I'm free. Okay. For the most part. So. Cool. Seriously. But right, I want to cool. see you do some YouTube shorts. Yes, I do need to. I do need to. Seriously. Yes. yes. Um, all right. Max, yes. love I, my camera. I might re I might rewatch that whole goddamn thing. It was so good. No, 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 no not to tonight. Not tonight. Not oh, yeah, tonight. I was gonna say Yeah, no. <laughs> but I'm like, it's that good. I, I laughed my ass off. And when they that that was one of the points where I'm like, I was like, I was like going to this my wife. Remember Tommy? Remember I was talking about the MTV Cribs? It wasn't MTV Cribs. And she's like, I don't care who I don't care about Tommy Tell. <laughs> now that's that's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, not care about Tommy. Well, good night, everybody. Thanks so much. Good night. 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 <laughs>